Hi, everybody. This is Leslie Lucius. I'm a traditional naturopath, aromatherapist, EFT practitioner, and Reiki master. And I'm here in my home office at Holistic Healing and Wellness. And uh, today I'd like to talk about managing fatigue uh, and overwhelm with aromatherapy, uh, tapping herbs, and what's now been dubbed the adrenal cocktail. Um, I have a lot of clients that come to me, um, and the number one complaint is fatigue. And there's a lot of causes of fatigue, but uh, there are some patterns that I've noticed and some trends and some ways that I think that I can share to help you manage your energy. Um, and uh, some of these things I use myself, and they've uh, been game changers for me in terms of being able just to... Um, uh, manage, you know, my blood sugar, my appetite, uh, I'm sleeping better and just having more energy to, you know, get out and do what I really want to do in life. Um, so the first thing I'll talk about is the adrenal cocktail, which has been pretty popular. Um, if you suspect that you're in uh, a phase of adrenal fatigue and there are uh, four different phases, um, the adrenal cocktail can be helpful for some people. Um, uh, Recently, I had muscle tested a, a client and she was experiencing a lot of fatigue and dizziness and um, uh, low blood pressure. And uh, she muscle tested really well with these components. So what basically it is, it's, it's a vitamin C, which feeds the adrenal glands. It's a uh, pink Himalayan salt. And then it's a form of potassium. Some people use cream of tartar. I actually uh, prefer the taste and the convenience of uh, coconut water. Uh, so this is basically what it looks like. It tastes actually really good. And um, this is basically, <clears throat> you take um, about a half a cup or depending on how much you're gonna use, but basically uh, if it's uh, pure coconut water, one to one. So a uh, quarter cup, quarter cup, to about a quarter teaspoon of the Himalayan pink uh, salt. And you mix it all together and uh, bet, uh, you can drink it in the morning. Um, and it also uh, gives you a lot of energy, minerals. And um, if one of the signs of uh, adrenal overload and uh, excessive fatigue is frequent urination, and this actually helps the cells hydrate. You know, you could be drinking a lot of water but if you're not, if your cells really aren't optimally absorbing them, then you're urinating all the time. Um, and the way the body works is just going to push out a lot of fluid. So it helps you absorb the water that you're drinking um, and consuming. Um, so that that's um, that's a, a pretty good strategy. Um, another strategy that's been helpful is a couple of different herbs uh, for uh, chronic fatigue, adrenal fatigue. Uh, and one is rhodiola, um, and uh, I have some professional quality brands. Herbs are kind of funny in that uh, there's a lot of a lot of different qualities out there. So uh, sometimes people back in the echinacea craze, some people would have great results, other people wouldn't. And I suspect a lot of it was because you know they were getting the echinacea from the gas station or something. And who knows, you know what how much echinacea was really in it. Uh, because, you know, these things um, are not uh, standardized or regulated as, uh, as well as some, some other things. So um, I had a uh, client uh, a few weeks ago come to me, and she actually had complained about a lot of overwhelm at work, a lot of stress, a lot of fatigue. She was in her late 50s, so she'd been, you know, past menopause, but ever since then, she hadn't been feeling really like herself. And so she really wanted to get back, you know, what she dubbed the old me. And so um, some of the things that uh, we worked together on was I, I mentioned yesterday that a lot of her, uh, a lot of digestion is connected to uh, anxiety. It's also connected to just mood in general because a lot of neurotransmitters are actually made in, in the gut. And so um, the HCI plus from biotics is helpful just to digest the food. And that's what was helpful for her. Um, as well as additional minerals, the BioCMP, which has potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Uh, but you're also going to get quite a bit of that in the adrenal cocktail. So um, that would be uh, a, uh, an option. 
In terms of aromatherapy, uh, the best thing for her was uh, the stress relief. And this is a lotion that we make. It's one of uh, the four body mind lotions that uh, I had put together and invented about 10 years ago. And uh, this is for people typically that have, um, well, they tend to have these emotional patterns where they attract uh, uh, too much um, uh, responsibility. Oh, hi, Carmen and Jenny. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so uh, stress relief is great for that. And it's uh, you can tell if you're that type of person, if you're the one that everybody goes to to solve the problems or you hear about a problem going on at work or in your family and you're the one that's always presenting the solutions, uh, kind of covering for everybody. Um, you know, hey, I, I've dealt with that myself and I consider myself kind of recovering from it. So, um, and I think I'm just about on the other side of it. Um, so, um, uh, stress relief is a great, uh, a great lotion for that. Uh, what it has in it, it's really targeted for the stress and, uh, uh, people who carry stress and emotions in their neck and shoulders. And that's where it's applied. Uh, also with, uh, across the uh, throat chakra and the throat chakra correlates a lot of times with people that really don't take care of their own needs or they're not able to express their own needs or they may have a block an energy block here which prevents their heart and their head from connecting and so they are in their heads all the time you know not not in their bodies and um, that's something I personally battled and I'm um, getting a lot better at it so what it has in it is um, uh, uh, Ling Ling and um, oh, a couple different, oh, and orange. It has sweet orange. And those two are actually some of the best for relaxing. Um, hi, Heather. Hi, Kim. Um, thanks for joining. Um, so it has uh, uh, Ling Ling and sweet orange, and those are really, really relaxing. Let's apply it again on the neck. And then it also has some Bach flower essences in it which um, if you don't know about Bach flower essences, they were a uh, system that was developed by Dr. Edward Bach in uh, England almost 100 years ago. He was a medical doctor who actually uh, retired to study uh, flowers and their imprints uh, and um, how they help us manage our emotions and uh, be, you know, make us more conscious of emotions that are uh, sort of buried or that we may not be aware of. And the reason I find this helpful is that the people that I'm, I'm working with, uh, they often are not really sure what's bothering them or what's weighing them down. And so as we do the work and they apply the lotion with the Bach flower essence and the essential oils, uh, they start to over time within a few weeks become more aware of issues that were sort of hidden um, this benefits us because, you know, you can't really work through or release something that you're not really aware of. And so it raises the awareness of it. And they were brilliant. Um, Dr. Edward Bach uh, invented 38 of them. And then about 15 years ago, I had read several books by a German naturopath who had studied Dr. Bach's work as well as Chinese medicine. And he had uh, in Chinese medicine, a lot of emotions are considered connected to different areas of the body. So he body mapped the emotional centers um, where Bach flower essences would go. And so I used that work to put this in the lotion and the Bach flower essences that have to do with overwork, overwhelm, um, trying to be strong for everybody else, like a good one is oak, like the oak tree, um, is, is in this. And uh, my client that had this problem where she was overwhelmed and overworked and always trying to do uh, everything for everyone else, um, really muscle tested well with that. So um, in terms of uh, also, she had uh, a lot of hair loss and we have a hair loss helper blend, which has uh, rosemary and cedar wood and uh, a couple of other things in it that are really good for um, hair. And I use it myself occasionally if I have a flare up. But um, she had muscle tested well with um, rosemary um, uh, uh, chemotype uh, cyanol. And if you don't know about uh, chemo, um, chemotypes and essential oils, it's basically sort of like the concept of wine where you could have the same grape 
grow on one side of a mountain and another side and they taste different, it's because um, a chemotype of an essential oil is basically where, you know, it's going to be more, uh, one chemical constituent is going to be uh, more prevalent than another uh, chemotype because of where it's grown in the world, how it's grown and so forth. And so uh, the CT, uh, CNL rosemary type uh, has the same Latin name as all the other rosemaries, but it's actually preferred for hair and she, uh, or hair growth. And she um, muscle tested well with that and has been using that. Um, so when we got into the tapping part, this is, this is kind of an interesting thing because in, in the work, in holistic work, um, there's sort of a saying that, you know, those that come to you are likened, uh, you know, like yourself, basically. And I, I do experience that and see that a lot. And um, I've worked through a lot of these issues myself, but she was in an environment where she was a person that was the most experienced and, and uh, was kind of stepping in and, you know, and, and you know, for every, and covering for everybody, whether they liked it or not. And um, really to the point of her own exhaustion. And so her struggle really was to be able to step back and let some of the other people that were maybe younger or less experienced, um, you know, work through some things, learn, and, you know, maybe maybe not be as efficient as her, but it's their opportunity to, to learn and to grow. And it's her opportunity to do the appropriate amount of work and appropriate amount of responsibility. And so that's that's a struggle that a lot of um, women have, I think, particularly because we're, we're raised to be caretakers. Um, I know I certainly know some men that have those tendencies as well. If we're impasse, um, an intuitive impasse like myself, it's also difficult, too, because we can see foresee things happening that are maybe not necessarily a positive outcome. And uh, we feel other people's pain and we're, we're connected on an energetic level. So it can be challenging to uh, uh, set appropriate boundaries. And so those are things that we have to really uh, be aware of and um, really what it boiled down to for her and what we were discussing and what I've discovered in my own life is that really it's, it's about loving yourself enough to take care of yourself. And easier said than done, because when you have these emotional patterns, a lot of times you're not even aware of it. So some of the things that we tapped on were basically that, you know, I'm enough, I'm worthy, um, I do enough, I, I you know, everything's going to be okay, other people can step in and step up, and, and those sorts of things. And those were some of the issues that she... Um, she worked through, and uh, I saw her again recently, and she is starting to feel a lot better. Uh, you know, it's a work in progress, but um, a lot of the work that we do uh, together is something that basically it's homework uh, for outside, and um, she's starting to feel better. Um, and uh, let other people step in and not, not you know, cover for anything and everything, whether people want her to or not, right? So um, those are uh, the main things. Um, and then the other herb that I did not mention uh, that I have personally found helpful is ashwagandha. And uh, I've recently been taking it uh, for um, about a month. And I have noticed a lot of big changes. So um, I would definitely recommend that. It's great for energy, for uh, cortisol management. Um, it helps, it's an adaptogenic herb, which means that it helps the body uh, uh, deal with physical and emotional stress. Um, just, it's also been uh, shown in studies to increase strength, muscle tone, um, a lot of, uh, uh, loss of belly fat, probably because the cortisol is being better managed, um, and uh, energy. You know, you can read all about it on the web, but I think that that's another really helpful herbs, particularly if you're in chronic fatigue or adrenal fatigue, uh, that would help. And uh, that's um, something that she did not muscle test well with, but I did. She actually um, muscle tested well with uh, the Progressive Labs Adrenal Resilience, which I have here in my office, um, which is a um, glandular herbal uh, vitamin mineral combination. Um, 
So if anyone wants to work with me, you know, if you're experiencing a lot of fatigue um, or overwhelm, uh, not really sure how to break some of those emotional patterns, um, I, you know, can help you with that. And I've also lived through it. And, um, uh, and I can tell you that life's a lot better when, when you try to take care of yourself first and let other people do what they've got to do. Um, and so I hope these strategies have helped you. And if you uh, want to talk to me personally or consultation for a few minutes, feel free to give me a call. And my contact information is here. Um, so thank you and have a great day.